Today we'll be reviewing for you guys this wireless headset by Exa Telecom. Here we have the box. You can see it's by Exa Telecom wireless headset. Uh, this PC Exa PC adapter that is already inside since it's wireless. That's how it will connect. And then you get the charging stand as well. This is the model H5. In the box that we have um, noise cancellation, we have wireless technology, PC adapter, charging stand, and ultra lightweight design. Has some manufacturing information and some more information in the back regarding the Exa Telecom H5. Specifications: You have your model number H5, battery 400 million per hour. Uh, what you have inside the box and then your Bluetooth so headset Bluetooth version version 5.0 and adapter Bluetooth version is 5.2 which is really good and then wireless range anywhere from 10 meters to 32 feet away from your um, device that you're connected to some customer information and some manufacturer details right here so let's go ahead and open up this box and then see what's inside so this one does come in a soft closed box, so open slowly. And then once we open this up, the first thing that you see is the headphone. And then we have the charging base right over here. And then we have a really nice uh, velvet material with orange writing drawstring bag for you to carry your headphones into. So uh, the quality of this bag is super nice. Put this aside. Here we have the user manual. Go over this in a little bit. And then here we have the charging cable so we have the USB-C charging cable right here as well as our charging um, our PC adapter right here that stays on the back of this thing so let's go over some of the specifications as I mentioned earlier uh, the headset Bluetooth version is 5.0 and the adapter Bluetooth version is 5.2 uh, effective range is 32 uh, feet or 10 meters for music time, you can get up to 45 hours at 70% volume. And for your talk time, you can get approximately 25 hours at 70% volume as well. And then the charging time is approximately one and a half hour. And for your um, speaker diameter, this one is you know, 30 mm. Frequency response of you know, 20 hertz uh, to 20 K hertz. So let's go over some of the things that we have on this headphone. The first thing you can see is we have this microphone and this microphone is noise cancellation. It does have the microphone on and off button and it's also bendable. You can bend it and it's not going to break. Uh, super flexible as well and it can be tilted. Right over here you have the charging and the Bluetooth light indicator. And then on the bottom here, we have the charging contact uh, that attaches to your base. Then we have on this side, you can see the minus button for your volume. And then we have the plus button for your volume. Here we have the USB-C uh, charging port. And then here we have the power button. So for the power button, if you press and hold this for three seconds, it will come on and you can see that the light is now blinking between blue and red and now it's blue. So if you press the power button one time, you can play or pause and if you triple click three times, then you go into a voice assistant like your Siri. And then, you know, volume up and down is basically just one click to go up and down. And if you press uh, volume up or down for two seconds, 
then you can go into either your previous track or your next track when you're playing your music and then the microphone mute button is quite simple just one press you mute one press you unmute in order for you to answer your phone calls with this microphone if you just press on the power button one time it will answer the call if you press on the power button again it will end the call and once you um, if you want to redial right uh, your last number then you can just go ahead and do a double click and then it will just do the redialing and then press uh, two seconds you know during a call you can switch your audio device as well and then you can have your three-way calling um, with this you know functionality it, it, it has a three-way calling functionality as well if you want to get this connected to your Bluetooth you just turn on the headphones and then go to your um, phone and then select the EXA H5 from your Bluetooth and then Bluetooth indicator flashes you know alternately between the red and blue as I showed you indicating that the headset is in pairing mode and once you get this paired then it will be in the blue color to notify you that okay now it is connected in order for you to get this paired to your computer you need to make sure that you have the PC adapter which is this one right here. This headphone also features uh, dual pairing, so you can have this pair to uh, two different devices at the same time. So when you're putting the headphone on the stand, just make sure the charging contact is matching. All you do is just set it just like that. And I do already have this turned on. I'm gonna go ahead and get this connected to my Bluetooth on my phone, and I'm gonna walk you guys through that process. Once you power it on, you will see that the light is blinking between the red and blue, as you see right over here. So if I come to my phone, uh, at the bottom, you can see that I already have the XI H5. So all I need to do is just click on the XI H5 and it should automatically connect. You can see that the status is now connected. And once it's connected, you should be able to play anything from it. So I'm gonna go ahead and play some music and then let's see. So seems to be pretty loud and then this is the plus sign and you can lower your volume with the minus. I think this is plenty loud. Um, Nice. Now let's go ahead and get this connected to my computer and then see how it does. So in order for you to have the headset connected to the computer through Bluetooth, all you need to do is just plug in the USB adapter and you don't need to go into your Bluetooth setting and do any type of other settings. Once you have that adapter connected, just turn on your power button and it should automatically connect. So as you can see, since I have this connected, I will have the blue light blink every so often notifying me that, okay, this is now connected. So here I have it connected already. I'm gonna go ahead and play some music. Now I wanna go ahead and show you guys what the audio quality is like with this microphone. 
So I have connected the USB-C to the charging base and you can see that there's a solid light uh, that is red indicating to you that it is now charging. I am also using the microphone with the headset just to check the sound quality of when I'm talking by using the microphone. I think overall the sound quality is pretty great but I would like to see what you guys think of the sound quality of this microphone. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put this on and see what it feels like. Now this right here, you can see, it's actually not like a hard plastic material. It is like a silicone, so it's super soft. So it should not hurt your head. So just uh, putting it on here, the first thing I can see is that the microphone has a good enough reach and you can get it closer to your mouth or further away from it. But this uh, foam padding that I have on this headset, it's super comfortable and the overall headset feels super light. So if you ask me about quality, I think it does have great quality. I was also listening to some music and the volume control and everything is just right there for you to easily control. And the sound quality is actually um, pretty good as well. So is this a product that I would use? Yes, I would use this and I would recommend you guys that you guys should use this as well. If you're looking for a headset that you wanna use for gaming, or if you're working from home like me, uh, you could probably you know use this and would be beneficial to you. Um, all the controls are you know really easy to get to, um, super simple to set up, and having the Bluetooth 5.0 and the 5.2 makes it reachable to your device and easily connectable. So you can also be as far as you know 32 uh, feet away. The charging time is not a lot. Uh, you can you know basically use it all day if you need to. It has more than enough um, battery life to take you through the entire day of use with no problem. Uh, so let me know what you guys think of my review of the Exa H5 headphone. 